Hey, what's going on guys? Well, welcome to another video. Hope you guys are doing well. It's been a couple weeks since I've actually made a, a day in the life vlog. A lot of you guys have been asking, hey, everything good? What's up, where you been? All that fun stuff. Hey, appreciate you guys caring about me. Uh, honestly, just took a couple weeks off from doing YouTube. Uh, it's a grind sometimes and spring rush is a real thing. As you guys know, uh, we've been dealing with a lot of heat, uh, a lot of work. The guys have been crushing it. Of course, we got the newborn baby crew who is uh, eight weeks old today. He's doing absolutely amazing, uh, but still even a great baby. You don't get a lot of sleep if you guys know what I'm saying. And then as you guys can imagine, coordinating with the house, getting the barn ready to go, evaluating maybe buying another truck, and then Liz and I are also moving for a temporary location until we get into the house. Uh, it's a lot going on at once, and sometimes something's gotta give, and also you get a little bit burned out. During the spring rush, I'm sure you guys can relate, uh, so I just took a week or two off of doing YouTube and uh, that's what I had to do for just some mental health and uh, just some bandwidth. So any which way, finally able to uh, pick up the camera again, shoot some videos, take you guys with us. A little day in the life vlog. <clears throat> I'm over here at the lockers first thing in the morning. Uh, the guys just ran to uh, start mowing lawns. They just literally left two seconds ago. I wanted to check in with them. We um, had some equipment that we had to fix and I uh, just want to give a big thumbs up to uh, the team for putting all that together. Uh, that being said, um, I gotta sharpen some blades today. I think we're gonna be picking up a new Xmark Radius, uh, maybe on today's vlog or the next vlog. Uh, I've got to uh, go to the bank to get some checks. I've got to go to the property to see the progress on the home. A lot of you guys have been uh, watching the second YouTube channel, building it together, seeing all the uh, updates on the home there. Very exciting stuff. They actually graded the pad for the pole barn, which is pretty dope. So if you guys want to maybe stick around, maybe I'll try to get the camera over there. We can see that. But any which way, a lot going on. Um, LEL tickets are going to be going on sale here the first week of July. The Launchpreneur uh, Summer Tour Series with all the teenagers are going to be starting here in just another week or so. Uh, a lot going on behind the scenes, as you guys can imagine. So thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for uh, all the support. Thanks for all the encouragement. I always appreciate you guys checking in on your boy. What's going on in your guys' world? You guys mowing? You guys doing landscaping? Are all the lawns burned out? I'm not sure, but uh, leave me some comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys got going on. And uh, thanks for always checking in on me and making sure that we're uh, doing good behind the scenes. Uh, let's do this really quick. Let me uh, open up the uh, storage locker. We'll go sharpen a couple lawnmower blades while we're here and uh, make sure that those guys always have some fresh blades to just zip them off every day and they can change them out. We change our blades pretty much every day, so we go through them. But for about 20, 30 minutes of blade grinding, then we can get the uh, rest of the show on the road. All right, hang tight. This right here though, by the way, is the Honda. This thing has been a gem. I think it's the EU 2200i. It's great for doing some seated rows or a dumbbell rows, whatever you guys want to call it. It's probably about 40 pounds, lightweight. Bad. A couple passes, that's all you really need. Hopefully that's showing up on camera for you guys. Bad. 
By the way, a lot of people always ask us what blades we're using. We got Valor blades, we've got X-Park blades. A lot of the X-Park blades are just what came with the mowers uh, over time. We might have bought a box or two, obviously, but the Valor blades, they work just great as well. We got the, uh, I think it's the uh, Rockwell 4500 steel. These are great. It's on the exact same. Anyway, uh, what we try to do is have all of our used blades here in this whole box. I'm gonna try to get through as many as I can today. And uh, this one, not too bad as well. A couple passes, and we'll be able to keep them going, man. And people always ask me, when do we replace our lawnmower blades? I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know. Is that okay to say? Basically, uh, when either there's not enough uh, space here, or the blade disintegrates uh, too much, or the foil disintegrates too much, or there's too many nicks and cuts. It's hard to say, but most of our blades we use for at least a couple of years, I would imagine. All right, well, we just got out of the bank here. Had to go get some sheets of checks. I guess I would show you the checks, but probably don't need to see the account numbers, right? <laughs> uh, there's no money in the account anyway. It's all going back into the business, back into the barn, and back into everything else that we're building. Um, hey, one quick thing I was going to say to a lot of you guys, happy belated Father's Day. I know uh, that was over on Sunday, over the weekend. Hope you guys had just a peaceful, relaxing, enjoyful, maybe celebratory type of day, maybe took out personal day, if you will. Um, I know Liz uh, blessed me exceedingly. It was really, really cool. Uh, we actually went up to Bay Harbor, Michigan. A lot of you guys know Bay Harbor, Charlevoix area. Beautiful place. Uh, if you guys have never seen it, maybe worth a quick Google. But uh, they have the Father's Day weekend is also the uh, in-water boat show, which was really, really cool. So we got to go up and down a bunch of different uh, piers and docks, whatever you call it, and check out all the uh, beautiful boats. I mean, three, four, five hundred thousand dollar boats all the way to three, four, five million dollar boats, which was really, really cool. And uh, let's get a little condo right there at the, I think it's the Village uh, Suites or something like that. Just little condos that are down the main street. And it was so cool just getting to, you know, relax. Just enjoy that three or four day weekend. We go up there, uh, my birthday is June 10th, Liz's birthday is June 20th. We take that weekend to celebrate ourselves, celebrate our birthdays, you know, if you, if you will. We take that weekend to celebrate our birthdays, we take that weekend for Father's Day, and also just to get up over the spring rush and actually enjoy uh, some time together, if you guys know how that goes. So any which way, really quick, happy belated Father's Day to all of you guys. Uh, all right, from here forward, I've got like six different forks in the road. The mower is getting prepped at Weingarts. I gotta go film a podcast really quick or shoot a podcast. I gotta go get the utility trailer because I'm gonna go take the mower to the property to go do a quick video on the property for the second YouTube channel. So let's find out where we go to next. All right guys, so really quick here, funny uh, quick little last part of this story. So I'm actually hanging up here at Weingarts obviously and look who just jumped into here, dude. What's up? What's up, dude? How are you? Uh, Gabe's long here. I'm good, man. It's, uh, I, we're coming in hot. It's early in the morning. My brain's just starting to turn on. Yeah. He hops out, he goes, Brian, what's up? And I'm like, Gabe, what up, dude? You just told me the funniest, craziest story. We gotta wrap up the video with this last one. Uh, what did you just do? You just did a massive irrigation so, job? So yesterday I installed uh, uh, three zones of drip irrigation, mm -hmm. uh, full on install, uh, no previous work done there. Um, and I did 1200 per zone, originally it was gonna be four zones, so then I made five grand and made about four grand profit. Wait, 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 wait. How old are you again? 16. And you made four grand profit in like a day, a two day. days? A in day. A, in one a day. day, one day, one day. And so anybody that's out there thinking, oh, like kids can't do this, or you know, younger guys can't get into the industry, or there's no money in what we do, like, dude, that's awesome. Thank you, I appreciate it. it. You're, uh, you got the itch in your pocket right now to go pick up some new equipment yeah. now, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually gonna go look at a, a quick trimmer and uh, some other stuff, but yep. I, I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. He was telling me this, so I'm like, let's get the camera out. You gotta tell this story, but anyway, what a, what a great way to end cap the, uh, the vlog today, so. <laughs> All right, man, we'll, uh, we'll catch up with you guys in here in a quick minute. Great job, bud. Thank you. That's awesome. All right, guys, well, check this out. It's a little bit later in the day. Finally got up here to uh, Weingarts. I'm really, really excited about this one. All right, so the big reveal, first off, before we do that, little tease, right? Before we do that, I got to say thank you to you guys for all the love, all the support, and making the channel what it is. It's not stage talk. It's not me just being fake on YouTube. It's me telling you guys sincerely, honestly, thank you guys since day one for supporting the YouTube channel. 
allowing it to grow to the size that it has, to be able to work with some of the great brands, as you guys know. But one of my dream brands, if you had to say, hey, what's the dream brand you have for partnership or brand dealer? If you were a YouTuber and you were an influencer and it was all that kind of fun stuff, like what would you try to get out of it? I would love to work with Xmark. Well, a couple years ago, that dream came true because of you guys and getting the channel to where it's at today. And I just want to say thank you to all of you guys watching the channel. I sincerely mean that. Uh, we're able to get some cool perks like this once in a while and help you guys grow your business by reviewing some stuff like this. And uh, today is one of those great days, one of those wins uh, that I want to share with you guys. All right, so let's do this really quick. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the new Xmark Radius. The platform has been redesigned uh, a year or two ago, whatever it was. You've got to check this thing out. This is a mower that I am exceedingly excited to share about you guys, generally speaking, because for many reasons, what's the best first mower to get? What's a great budget option mower? What's something that's beefy with a, a you know a medium-sized price point? What's something that I could get and grow into, or or use as as I grow my fleet and always has as a backup mower, right? I think this is the platform that's going to do it for so many of you guys out there. All right, let's check this out. The big reveal. You got the X Mark Radius. This is the X series, so this is the top of the line version of this mower and this platform. All right, so sorry about the uh, brutal sun today. It's a hot 88 degree day and uh, tons of sun, already sweating it out. We'll do a little walk around here so you guys can see the platform. Now this is going to be used for my property, our backup mower, if we start a second route. This is not gonna be a pavement princess, I will tell you that. Okay, so let's look at this platform overall. First off, this is great for guys, medium uh, sized businesses are just starting to grow. They're starting to get 10, 20, 30, 40 accounts. They're starting to go from just being the weekend warrior guy. You want that mid tier platform. Maybe you've saved a couple bucks and you're looking to invest into a good first zero turn mower. This is what I would suggest. This is a awesome option. It's a really awesome option, okay? You've got the Xmark Ultra Cut Series 4 deck. You've got a beautifully comfortable seat. Check this thing out. Awesome option. Thick bolstered padding. You've got incredibly large tires, huge knobby tires. Like I can literally fit my finger in between these things. I mean, these are chunky, chunky tires. On the back end, she's thick, she's thick. You got a 31 horsepower Kawasaki engine. 31 horsepower. I think my first Z uh, 10 years ago had a 25 horsepower. Okay, this has a 31 horsepower Cowie on a Radius. All right, you've got the commercial grade air filtration canister system up top. You've got the ROPS up here, which are great for you guys that have slope properties, commercial properties, just extra safety. Absolutely beautiful design. It looks sharp. And you've got the X Marks legendary build quality and engineering which means you're gonna have less downtime, less breaking parts, less parts, less things you have to service. That is all things X Mark, all right? You've got the foot operator platform right here to make the deck go up and down. You've got the uh, line of sight where if you're sitting from the seat, now you can see your different cutting heights, nothing from the side. This is gonna be new. And you can adjust your different heights all the way from one inch all the way to five and a three quarters most likely, or five, five inches. Uh, let's talk about the control panel, I know a lot of you guys care about this stuff, is you got your throttle, your choke, your PTO, this is a new switch from what I, I've heard, start, stop, and your hour meter. All right, just some of the basics. All right, so this thing means business. This is a solid commercial option. Some of you guys want to know price points. Most of these are, for the E series, are gonna run in the sevens. With the S series, the middle tier of the radius is gonna be you know eights and nines. And then the X, you might be around 10, 11, maybe 11.5 out the door. Everybody's gonna be different all across the country, different rebates, promotions, all that mess. But 10, 11 grand maybe for a good commercial entry option, 31 horsepower. It's got the Ultra Cut 4 Series deck. Folks, this is a serious contender, super awesome mower. Maybe you guys have a residential property with you know, two to five acres, 10 acres. This would also be another great option for a homeowner that's looking for a you know, good 10 grand budget uh, mower that's gonna go the distance and last them a good, you know, 1,000, 1,500 hours over the time that they have that property. This is what you would go with. All right, so I'm super excited about that. You guys wanna fire it up really quick? Let's check it out. Do a little choke. Yeah, 
that buddy. Awesome. All right, it sounds as good as it looks. All right, well, we're gonna load it up on the trailer. I gotta go mow the property, go figure. So we'll get uh, another video for you guys, showing you a mow vlog, show you how it lays stripes. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button so you guys can follow along. Don't forget to give a big thumbs up if you guys appreciate the video. Hey, I just wanna say again, thank you to Xmark for partnering up with us. Thank you to all of you guys that allow these opportunities to happen. I couldn't be more thankful, more grateful. It's awesome. And uh, many, many, many more videos to come. All right, over and out. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of the day. Make sure you guys drink water out there. It is hot as heck over here. And I'll look forward to catching up with you guys here on the next one. All right, guys, so here we are really quick. Another little interjection. Roman, right? Yeah. Dude, we were just catching up for a quick second. He was hanging out here. He's like, dude, I saw you doing a video. I didn't want to interrupt. You can't make this stuff up, but dude, you're Team X Mark. Yes. You already got two. Yes, sir. And you're about to pick up a third. Third one. I was just shooting a video here two seconds ago about the radius. I watched I watch <laughs> this guy. It's a small world, man. I literally called my wife and I was like, that's the guy I just saw on Shut YouTube. Up, I swear to God. <laughs> That's that guy. And so a lot of the stuff that you promote, yeah. I've, I've picked up a lot of the stuff. So. Well, you, you were saying you were just watching the review videos on the mowers and then the locks. The lock the lock system. Proven locks. Yeah, the proven locks. See? I mean, we're yeah. trying to help you guys grow. You just picked up a brand new trailer, if I can get it, uh, right, that big black yep. trailer. Yep. Uh, business is booming. Business is good. And uh, you have a, um, a full-time career yes. uh, in law enforcement. Yes. And uh, so FOP, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, good seeing you, man. It's you know, small world. Hey, thank you for saying hey. Thanks for uh, not being a weirdo just creeping out. But yeah, thanks for, for coming sure. up and saying hey. But uh, hey, this is why we make videos for you guys, man. And a lot of your videos are inspirational. Seriously. Thanks, man. I, I, thanks. I know you probably hear that all the time, but seriously, man. It's what keeps me going. I mean, yeah, like, sure. it, it's hot out, dude. We're all sweating. I, I would say it's 90 degrees going to be today. And uh, But this is why we do what we do. For sure, man. I love it, man. Thanks for the love, bro. <laughs> all right, brother. Hey, Take I, it easy, man. I got you. Thanks, bro. I got to go pick my X mark up. Go do your thing, bro. You could make that up if you want, folks. Hashtag Team X mark. That's my man. All right. That's what I got for you guys. Over and out. Have a great day. We'll catch up with you guys.